Okay, uh, some malware isn't actually malware, or, uh, you know, it's, it's not really um, uh, perpetrating some kind of damage or attack against you. Uh, maybe it is. Um, and I'm thinking of things like um, <clears throat> adware and uh, spyware. Now, adware uh, can be annoying. It's, uh, you know, it, it's showing you ads. And, and I suppose in, in both of these cases, um, these things aren't um, uh, as, as separate pieces of software, uh, they are not as common these days. Um, uh, the, the function tends to be more fulfilled in terms of uh, advertising on... Uh, Websites and you know whatever you're doing on the web, uh, they're tracking you. So you got spyware type function. Uh, however, let's you know just consider them. They, I mean, they still do exist, and and uh, consider them as separate entities just for the purposes of of the discussion. Um, so adware, uh, obviously, as the the name suggests, you know they are uh, dedicated to showing you ads, uh, trying to. Uh, get their their message out. Um, the uh, uh, sometimes this would be uh, part of a um, a package. Uh, you know, it, advertising supported uh, software. Uh, where it's, you know, shareware, uh, freeware, but, you know, if you use it, it shows you an ad. Uh, that uh, is probably something that, that people would accept, at least in terms of, you know, they have the choice of whether or not they see the ads in terms of whether or not they find the uh, particular function and program useful. But, um, uh, you know, sometimes... It would be dropped as uh, a separate program on your system and, and would be showing you ads and, you know, maybe for no particular reason. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's getting your, grabbing your attention, uh, uh, taking uh, time away that you could use for other things, whatever it may be. So, uh, it's, you know, potentially unwanted software and I must admit to taking uh, rather childish glee in being able to call certain pieces of software pus but anyway um, now when you are dealing with um, adware as I say you know if it's part of uh, something you want well then you get the the opportunity do you uh, do you want this enough to uh, put up with the ads um, do you uh, you know if it's a separate issue um, you know you can potentially get rid of it uh, but the, the spyware is a I, you know edge is a bit closer to our standard definition of, of malware uh, this is you know people are trying to uh, gain information on you um, uh, for whatever reasons, you know, whether whether it's marketing, whether it's uh, uh, you know stealing confidential information if they can, uh, whether it's for their own purposes or to sh sell to somebody else. Uh, lots of options there, and lots of options for uh, this stuff to be unwanted. And uh, so. Um, that was, uh, you know, fairly common as a, a separate entity. And as I say, um, nowadays, uh, you are uh, surrounded by this stuff in terms of tracking cookies, in, in terms of uh, the uh, 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 you know, various and sundry means that uh, people collect information on you. Uh, sometimes you're 
quite willing to give away information on yourself. I suppose one of the um, uh, common versions of it these days is, is clickbait, where um, you are uh, presented with a supposedly interesting uh, news story or piece of celebrity gossip or whatever, you are promised something interesting uh, or something free. And uh, in order to get it, you, you go to a web page and that web page, again, promises you that the next page will do it after you answer this question. Uh, and it's amazing how many uh, questions people will go through and, and of course you never do get to whatever it is that they promised you. Um, so, uh, you know, as uh, individual pieces of software, again, uh, same kinds of things, you know, uh, most uh, generic uh, malware scanners these days will, will identify uh, some of these programs and uh, uh, you can you can get rid of them but as I say you know very often these days um, it's more a function of your general work on the web on the internet um, being uh, you know, tracking where you go what you do where you, what sites you've come to and and trying to uh, aggregate that data now aggregated data um, you know when we when we get into uh, areas of, of database security, we'll uh, be talking a little bit about differential privacy and maybe, maybe again when we uh, are talking about law and investigation. And uh, aggregation is, on the one hand, both a, a means of attack in terms of abstracting information uh, from uh, publicly available information on, on a database, uh, and getting indications of information you shouldn't have, or uh, it can be used as a defense where you aggregate data. You, you strip out the individual identifications and you only um, uh, take the numbers that result in terms of how many people come from this site, how many uh, people go to this ad when we present it in this way. You know, different different things like that. So. Um, a variety of, of levels of uh, potential unwantedness, uh, a variety of levels of, you know, how important is it to you to chase these pieces of celebrity gossip, to have these particular uh, utilities, um, whatever it may be. So... Uh, quite a, uh, you know, it's, it's you know, cost-benefit analysis, as, as we said in security management, that, uh, you know, what is it, what is it worth to you, and, and what level of annoyance are you willing to put up with, uh, and what level of risk are you willing to put up with, so, okay.